Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com, and I'm just going to show you a video on how to get different types of glitches in machine uh, for, you know, just regular programming if you want to get uh, things to get stutter effects and things of that nature. Um, here's some really easy ways to do it. So I'm going to play this beat real quick. Uh, I'll play just a couple of sections of it, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it. So... Okay, so as you can tell, um, the drum programming is really straightforward on this so far. Uh, we've got some percussion and some impacts and, you know, a choir and like a TB303 type bass. So what I want to do is the first thing, I'm going to take this drum kit and I want this drum kit to have some interesting, um, some interesting things going along with it. So I'll just go ahead and load up grain stretch right here and stretch is going to go to 100%. Looping is going to come all the way down, and the size I can keep about 25. I like to keep the link on. Sometimes I'll take that off. Um, and basically what you're going to want to do now is automate your on and off. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to duplicate this pattern here. I, I'm on pattern 4, and the reason I'm duplicating it is if I want an unglitched pattern... I can have that, and if I want the glitched version, I can go to that. So, um, the glitched version is going to go here. So, pattern 5 now is going to be glitched up, and I'm just going to go ahead and record this with some glitches. So now when I play pattern 5, you're going to hear glitches on. And that's just done by automating your on-off button now. Um, when you adjust the size, uh, let's, let's listen to how that changes it real quick. So you can take it and um, as you raise the size, you get finer and finer uh, grains, which are nice. Let me uh, close this out. Sorry about that. Um, so you'll get finer and finer grains, which can kind of sound like it's going up in pitch, uh, kind of like a grain synth. Um, and you can actually get complete grain synth sounds out of it. Also, if you play with the pitch, you can get different sounds that way. And the stretch, you can get these kind of slowdown effects. So watch what happens when you play with the, uh, with the time stretch uh, parameter on it. So you'll get these weird kind of like... Um, you know, kind of slow down phased um, glitches with that. Which is cool. Um, another way we could go about this is, uh, let's take this off for a second. Um, we'll actually just mute it for now. Or actually, let's just go back to the pattern that wasn't using it. And here, I'm going to go ahead and load up... Um, let's actually go over this way, just do it faster. The finger... And you have lots of different options on here. There's lots of different ways of doing this. Um, I personally like uh, one of the one of my favorite ones is Muddy Mat. And instead of affecting the entire sound a hundred percent, which we can do, um, I'm going to go to my auxiliary and I'm going to send that into Muddy Mat. Now, usually when you do this, you're going to want to adjust your levels overall because it is going to boost your level up a bit. So let's just listen to what we have going on. We're going to go back to Muddy Mat now. Okay. I'm going to make this uh, four bars long. 
and I'm going to go into um, my keyboard mode on here. So as I touch these different keys, or I could do it on my USB keyboard over here, it's going to cause different effects, chains, and effect glitches. So listen to how it affects it. And because I'm on the aux, I can mix in how much of that glitch I want. So now uh, I've got these glitches in here and I can play around with the mix amount between uh, the clean signal and the wet signal. Now if I take that same amount I can go back to none here and I'll bring this over to master or excuse me to muddy mat for the for the main outs of it and it'll affect the entire signal. So with that you can get lots of really interesting effects. So the finger, if you have the finger, if you've got complete if you've got complete and the finger then you can you know you can go really deep with all the different things that the finger can do uh it's got these momentary knobs that you can do over here the twisters which are fun and you can make up your own presets on here as well which is really cool and and then just save your uh save your snapshots as uh as new presets uh the the grain stretch is cool you can also do a similar thing here watch this uh we'll go ahead reset this let's put um just generally speaking I, i've made a few presets already in grain stretch so i can go right to my my glitch drums preset here now i can go to uh the outputs of the group all right and let's make that master and then we can do auxiliary here to the glitch drums so now I, I can do the same effect of the grain stretch but have it mixed in also just like I did with the finger so if I want to do that I can So that way you can get more subtle sounds and of course you can um you can play around with it and get different glitches on different types of sounds you know like if you're sending your percussion through it you'll get um you'll get some interesting things so i'm gonna bring it over here So essentially you can you can really use these um these effects in the same way you would use something like, you know, the stutter stutter effect and things like that and just get really cool effects. So anyway, I hope this helps. It's flux with fluxwithit.com. Don't forget to check out the machine expansions that I work so hard on. Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying them. I try to keep the uh the price way lower than than what it actually costs me to make them. So please uh, support independent sound designers. Peace.